Sorry about that, viewers. Internet dropped out. Kind of annoying. So, yeah, we get nothing from that. Impressive. Remarkable talent. Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Zen. Take this. You have earned it. And for beating her, we earned 30 Power Spheres. Too bad I'm already almost maxed out on that, but more importantly, we also pick up Aeon's Soul. Thank you. I think you will do just fine. But, if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remian. I will be waiting there. Farewell. And so, we've been officially challenged to find the hidden temple in Remy. That is where we will pick up a secret summon later on. As for right now, we've got Aeon Soul, which allows us to increase Aeon's attributes. It takes a lot of spheres to do that. And you won't see me doing this because it's just a waste of spheres just to raise up an Aeon's attribute by one. Maybe later on when I've got everybody maxed out. But that's not going to be for quite a long ass time. Do I have anything super special? A special sphere. Hood sphere, friend sphere, okay, nothing super special. Alright, speed sphere. So yeah, like I was saying, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to bother taking advantage of the Aeon Soul. It's just a waste of precious spheres at this point in the game. Um, let me think. I believe there is an Albed Primer up this way. So let's go on and pick it up. Uh, two corals. Okay then. You'll use Blaster. Yeah, that counterattack can be kind of annoying. Now, during this section, viewers, where I'm running around gathering up enemies, I'm not going to bother... I'm pretty well much just not going to bother getting experience for everybody. Mostly because doing that is going to be kind of annoying while also trying to capture every enemy. Oh hey, the lady that I was looking for is also up here. Nice. Yes, there is a person that we can talk to riding a chocobo and talking to her will activate a bit of a mini game. Let's go on and take out the small fries first. And now to take out the ogre. But shouldn't be too hard. See, already done. Now that enemy type can actually be kind of irksome to deal with. Once you get them down to a certain health threshold, it can be a little bit of an annoyance to deal with because uh, it'll raise up its arms and start counter-attacking. So we pick up Albed Primer number 23, translates F to W, and we gained yet another rank in Albed. But let's come over here and talk to... Chimeras. Chimera Brains. These guys have a bit of notoriety behind them. The Chimera Brains, if you 
use bribe on them, and I believe bribe them a total of 40,000 gil, they will run away and leave behind level 4 key spheres. If it weren't for the fact that I need that money, and I don't have bribe anyways, I'd be doing this, because those level 4 key spheres will be useful as hell. Gotta heal up. Yuna. So yeah, search around the map. We'll find a lady riding a chocobo. I want to ride a chocobo. So we're going to have to train our own chocobo. Of course! Now, this is the minigame I was talking about. There are three training courses that we can do with the Chocobo. The third one is the most important, but doing the first two can get us a couple items. Now then. We just gotta get across the field in 12.8 seconds. The chocobo, being that it is not trained, will try and go whichever way it wants. So when it turns a direction, just correct it. And I was just 0.1 second off. Wow. Pretty much, like I said, if the chocobo tries to go one direction, just tap it in the other direction. Don't hold it down or else... Uh, really? Stupid chocobo. This first one can be a little bit annoying just because of how often the chocobo wants to just kind of go whichever way it wants. Come on, get in there. Thank you. 12.6. Enough to beat it. So, we beat the first course and trained ourselves a chocobo. We also gained a prize. An elixir. If we go back through and beat our time again, we'll get another try. But instead, let's choose do something else. The Dodger Chocobo. So, this time we've got full control over the Chocobo and we need to get to the other side by dodging Blitz Balls. We've got 16 seconds to do that. Well, 16.8 seconds. Oh, fuck you. Those blitz balls can be really annoying to deal with. They fucking home in like a motherfucker. <sighs> yeah, I didn't even come close to that time. That was a beast ass dodge. Ah, damn it, so close. There we go, got it. Cross the finish line, 15 seconds on the dot. And we get a level 1 key sphere. Hyper Dodger Chocobo. Now, balls and birds will be flying at us that we need to dodge. The, do the balls will also sometimes explode into a flurry of balls like you just saw there. Ugh, these birds are going to be a bitch, though. Fuck you, bird. Ugh. 
Oh, come on, Chocobo. I didn't tell you to go back that way. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this side quest just because of how annoying it can be, especially that last section. Oh, come on. Nope, not making it. Like I was saying, the last one in this minigame chain can be a bit of a pain to get the perfect score on. I know a lot of people who will try and basically go without doing it just because of how irksome it can be. I mean, aside the fact that you don't really even need to do that side, you don't really need to do this in order to get superpower weapons for your allies or for your characters. And so we have beat all of her challenges. Now we've got just one left for a prize for beating this last challenge, a level two key sphere. Now we've got just to race the catcher Chocobo. There is a special thing with this though. In order to w win this and get what we want from this, which is a key item, we need to get all zeros on the clock. To explain what happens, you need to race the catcher from the entrance of the calm lands where we came in at to the exit of the calm lands over at the end. We need to pick up balloons. Each balloon we pick up, I believe, subtracts three seconds, I want to say, from the counter, but we also have to dodge birds. Now, doing this can be really fucking annoying. Finish line is all the way over there. This is probably going to take me a couple tries. Like I said, doing this can be really annoying because you don't know how the RNG is going to handle this. As I'll ever be. Now she's just going to get that one. I'm not even going to bother trying to go for it. Just... If you've got a chance to do it... Try your best to stay in front of her. If you're in front of her, you can potentially pick up balloons before she has a chance to. Though, I fucking hate it when those birds just come out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the perfect time on this one. Ow, fuck you, bird. Really? How, rip up. No. See, that's what I was talking about, though. It's... Occasionally, the game is just going to decide to totally fuck you over. So I collected more balloons than her, hit less times by the birds, and got a better time. I am guaranteed to have gotten a better t time than the winning time. So for beating the time, we pick up a level 3 key sphere something we've actually been needing. One more time. This is going to be annoying to do. Again, she's going to get that one before I have a chance to, so... Like I said, just try and get in front of her, because it's really more about picking up more balloons than her. Ah, fuck. I think in to really, I think in total you're gonna want to pick up about twenty. Well, if yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. In total, you're gonna want to pick up about uh, fourteen balloons and not get hit by any birds. Still picked up more balloons than her. Didn't beat my best time, though. 
which means I'm not going to get a surprise. 